Hello, this is Willie Thomas with Robinson ISD. So I'm going to show you parents here real quick how you can message and stay in communication with the teachers uh, that are going to be in the Schoology classrooms. So I'm logging in my parent account, and there are a couple of things that, that you can do to stay in contact with your child's teacher and that your child can also stay in contact with their teacher as well. So you have right here at the very top in your ribbon, you have this little envelope here. This is the messaging uh, center here. So when I click on that, any messages that I have from my teachers, um, like I said, these are one-on-one -on -one messages, kind of like email for Schoology. Uh, I'll be able to see that. If I want to create a new message and click on that, and then I will actually just type in my student's teacher's name, last name, first name, however you want to do it. And there it is there. It populates that. So you can look for that and you will hit that teacher's name do your subject there and type in your message. You can also attach a file, uh, a link to something. If there is a audio or video recording that you would like to be able to send as well, you can send that to uh, the teacher as well. Uh, students have this ability to do that also inside of Schoology if they need more help uh, with their lesson or things that they are need, uh, have questions with. They're able to do that as well and also send a recording of their screen to say, here's the problem that I'm having with uh, this lesson I'm not understanding. So they're able to do that right inside of Schoology. Another place for you to be able to send a message to your child's parent, and also your child can do this as well. If you go over here, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my student that I have here enrolled in Schoology. I'm going to click on her name there. And if I go to courses up here at the very top, I can actually come in here click on a course and then go over to the members of that course. Now you won't be able to see the other members that are in the course, but if you click on the little gear right here at the top, you'll see send message. And that'll also bring up that exact same window that I want to send a message to uh, that particular teacher. So I can, like I said, put all that information right in there. And if I want to add a teacher, in there say there's multiple things or I, I want to make sure I want to communicate this. There are multiple teachers. I can do that as well. And I can add those teachers in here and have that conversation that needs to be. So the exact same compose a message window where you can add all the different content resources that you need as well. So you will also be communicated through updates that you'll see. You'll see the updates that are available um, here and they'll be coming in as well. Parents, you're able to comment on the updates. If you have any questions, on the updates that are sent out, you're able to do that as well. Uh, then you also will receive communication through the calendar as well. So things that are going on, this is another place to pay attention to that you will be able to receive information for what's going on in the classroom. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to James Hughes. Uh, his email address will be in the description below. Also, leave any comments. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments areas as well. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you.